Hi everyone, this is Kathy from House of TOEFL, and I'm coming to you today with a big tip from, for the TOEFL IBT speaking section, specifically question number one. So there's something I would like my students to avoid. Now, as you know, question number one is the personal preference question. So you have to state a preference and defend it. Now, one of the biggest mistakes students make that will hurt your score is that they say two reasons that are very similar to each other. So for example, the other day I had a student and I asked him the question, your university has decided to allow eating in class. Do you think this is a good idea? Why or why not? This particular student was a fluent speaker and quite good, but unfortunately his two reasons were very similar. The first was it will distract the students. The second one, one was it will disturb the teacher. The problem with that was he ended up repeating many vocabulary words. For example, he used words like noise, chewing, annoying, distracting, etc. to support both of his main ideas. Now the reason this will lower your score is nowadays there's actually software that rates your speaking. And one of the things that it penalizes you for, takes away points for, is repetition of words. So even though his grammar was good and his intonation was good, I couldn't tell him his answer was a four out of four because there was too much repetition of certain words. So he could solve this and I suggested that he have his second reason be something very different like, eating in class will cause a mess. Now he has a whole new way he can answer the question with totally different vocabulary. When you're talking about a mess, you can say spilled coffee. You can say candy bar wrappers, empty cups. There's many other words that you can use and there's much less repetition. Remember, you're going to be nervous. You're, you're going to be under a lot of pressure. So the last thing you want is to accidentally repeat the same words without realizing it until later and then getting your score and seeing that it was affected by that. So in your 15 seconds preparation time, you need to think of two supporting ideas, but they should be very different from each other, completely different. So this is an easy way to make sure that you get a higher score. Okay. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to keep this video short. Remember to subscribe to my channel because I'm making a lot of content because I have a little bit more free time now because of the pandemic. So I'm going to be posting a lot. So make sure you hit the subscribe button down there so you can keep up to date with all my content. Okay. Thank you. And again, this is Kathy from house of TOEFL www.houseoftoefl.com is the website to find all of my content in one place. And thank you for watching this short video and good luck on your test.